The following is an exclusive presentation of Cablevision Local Programming, TV that's close to home. Stupid. Keep thinking it's going to get better. Suffolk County Legislature's Majority Leader John Cooper is here. We'll talk about why he's not running for the United States Senate and its plans for the future. Next on Cablevision's Meet the Leaders. Hello, I'm Pat Halpin, and welcome to Cable Visions Meet the Leaders, a program designed to inform and update you about your community and issues here on Long Island. Today, our guest is Suffolk County Legislator John Cooper. Legislator Cooper, it's good to have you back on good Meet the here, Leaders. Pat. Thank you. Congratulations on two fronts. First, getting reelected. This is now what your third term or fourth term? No, this is actually it's my sixth term. Your sixth, sixth term. Sixth it seemed like yesterday term. you got elected. No, You're right. No. Your term, term limited. Yeah, uh, we. Had you think that's a good idea? We got to get rid of term limits. Well, I, I, I mean, I know. I mean, I know people like, like them. Sounds like a good idea at the like time. Like them in concept, but in the end, every two years you're term limited, which is you got to start over. You got to go out and uh, convince I, I, people I, I uh, to elect you uh, or I mean, not. Well, look, I've always been a strong proponent of public campaign financing, right. but we can't get that through. We've tried for years, so mm. the next best thing is term limits. Uh, so uh, I. I actually support the concept, even though it means I've only got two more years in the Suffolk Legislature. Uh, but for the for the institution, um, I, I think it's a, it's a good thing. All right. Well, at least you're being consistent, unlike most of us politicians. <laughs> uh, the other is, of course, getting elected majority leader. Uh, as, uh, the majority of uh, the majority of legislators are uh, Democrats and one independent. Uh, it's actually now no, it's uh, uh, Democrats. Two independents, uh, party members now, okay. uh, Jack Eddington and Jay Schneiderman, right. and one working family party. Working fa so it's a real coalition. We, we say Democrats and friends. And friends and friends, and uh, and of course uh, the people in your your legislative district are from uh, the western part of Suffolk County, up in the up in the uh, northwest corner of Huntington. Uh, correct. What communities make up your legislative district? Uh, Huntington, Huntington Bay, Lloyd Harbor. Uh, Cold Spring Harbor, Northport, uh, East Northport, par parts of East Northport, uh, parts of Huntington Station, parts of Comac, um, Hale Site. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Okay, if well, I did, I apologize. I apologize. Well, if anybody's paying that close attention to it, that'll be good because they'll learn a lot about what you're up to. Uh, that's a pretty Republican area. What are they doing electing a Democrat like you? It is. It's actually of, of the three districts that uh, incorporate that at least parts of Huntington is the most Republican, uh, but uh, I think that they are on, they're progressive on social issues, they're um, more conservative on, on fiscal issues, uh, but that's, that describes me. I'm very progressive on uh, social issues, but on uh, economic and fiscal issues, I, I consider myself uh, uh, responsible. And you also, you also uh, happen to be a businessman. You run a, right. and own a major manufacturing company here on Long Island. How hard is it uh, to be in business these days, given, given the nature of the economy? We'll, we'll talk about politics and stuff in yeah, a second, yeah. but I want to just talk to you. Put, on your, put on your CEO hat and tell me just how hard it is to be running a business with you know, oh, nearly 180 employees. It, it, it's tough. We, we're one of the <clears throat> 100 largest employers on Long Island. Uh, but uh, for a manufacturing firm in particular to uh, succeed, uh, not just to survive, but to succeed on Long Island is not easy with the, the, the property taxes and with the electric rates and the lack of affordable housing. So there's a lot working against us, which is why a lot of manufacturers have moved off the island. But we've been here since 1955. Uh, and in 54 years, we've never laid off an employee. Even in the current recession, we haven't laid anyone off. Uh, but in return, we get tremendous loyalty from our employees. Your company is Spectronics Corporation. Spectronics. And uh, what kinds of things do you manufacture? Uh, we make about 1,100 products, um, primarily ultraviolet lighting equipment. Mm -hmm. But we manufacture, we have a banking products division, an automotive products division, a pipe freezer division. So it's pretty pretty diversified. And We've that helps. That helps as you, as you, absolutely. As you manage through this Because there are ups economy. and downs. So, some markets have gone down. For example, we have a product that goes in, into the air conditioner of every car built in the United States virtually. Uh, so when that... What does that do? Uh, it's called a, a tracer wafer. It's a, a patented product, a, a polyester felt wafer that's impregnated with fluorescent dye mm -hmm. that goes into the air conditioner on the production line. So in the aftermarket, if there's an air conditioning leak, 
um, the refrigerant leaks out, but it leaves a trace of the dye. So when you scan the system with a special light, all the leaks glow brightly to pinpoint the location. Right. So uh, we actually won uh, the Ozone Protection Award from the EPA. That, that's a big uh, deal. So you don't, want, you don't want to be having all this Freon Absolutely. You know, leach into the atmosphere. Right. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, it's a, 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 a profitable product for us, um, a major uh, product line, but our sales dropped precipitously because they stopped making cars in the United States. And we also sell overseas, but still that hurts. So it's beginning to pick up now, that's turning around. But we got into a new market, the forensic field, uh, crime scene investigation. Uh, so, and that, we, we're now selling about a half million dollars a year of, of if you ever watch CSI or CSI yes. New York, yes, the, the blue lights or Does the ultraviolet really lights. Does that work where they're able to identify and find DNA? Yeah, actually, and other uh, we, we sent them several of our lights in the, the past half dozen episodes. <clears throat> They used our lights to do the examinations. We just sent them a new unit that you'll be seeing in an upcoming episode, a very powerful unit. Uh, it's a powerful unit with, with, the, with your name prominently uh, placed on that unit. I hope not I your name, John to, Cooper. I think we'd have to pay a lot of money to actually have our it's name. It's called product placement. That's product placement. So just the fact that we got a product on the show was, uh, was great. <laughs> um, uh, the only thing that was just as cool was I used to be a big fan of X-Files. I don't know about you, but yep. I love the show. And once Agent Mulder, um, used one of our ultraviolet lamps to examine alien remains. Uh, so that was, was totally cool. That's cool. Uh, tell me, these, um, these ultraviolet lights, do they really kill bacteria? A and absolutely. the reason why I ask, I was in Costco recently. We're going to get into politics in a second. Yeah. I was in Costco recently, and they're selling these, these ultraviolet lights as a way of, you know, people bring them into hotel rooms and other things as a way we, of... We sell... As a way yeah, of... We sell, uh, we've sold tens of thousands for hotel, motel uh, uh, rooms and, and homes for, first to find the germs, right. which is long wave ultraviolet light, mm -hmm. and then to kill the germs, which is short wave ultraviolet light. And as a matter of fact, we're coming out with what will be our first consumer product. We normally sell to the industrial market or mm -hmm. laboratory, but the first exclusively consumer product that will have to do with killing germs. I won't give details because we haven't launched it yet, but it has tremendous potential. If we could tap into 10% of the potential market, we're talking tens of well, millions of dollars. Well, and you think dollars. about the concerns with swine flu and everything else, and swine flu is just a small part of what we ought to be concerned about. I mean, people just have to be have to be aware. I mean, uh, everything from, uh, you know, uh, viruses and flu, flu uh, influenza and everything else. Yeah, that's absolutely. Out there. So it's interesting. Okay, let's talk politics.